Alright, here's an example of graphing a sine curve that has a phase shift. So again, the first thing we want to do is identify the A and the B and the C, which is a oops, which is a positive pi over two. Recall that the standard form of the equation has a minus here. So this is minus a positive pi over two. And then D is zero. The next step is to calculate the period. And B is one. So two pi, of course, divided by one is two pi. The next step is to graph the pure graph equation with the period of two pi. And this is the sine curve. So we know it starts here. And let's see, um, if I want to spread out my axes. I think I'm not going to spread out my axes. I think I'm going to call this pi over 2. And this is pi, 3 pi over 2. And I don't like that. Sorry about that. Pi over 2. I just want to make sure it's big enough for you to see. 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, and I know I'm going to have to extend it, so I'm just going to extend it out there okay. um, and be ready for that. Okay, so we have an x-intercept at 0, and we have an x-intercept at pi, and an x-intercept at 2 pi, and our amplitude is 1. There we go. So I've got a maximum of 1 at pi over 2, and a minimum of 1 at 3 pi over 2. And then we're just going to connect them. We've done this before, you know how to do this. Okay, now we want the phase shift. So the next thing we do is graph with our phase shift. And this is how you graph with your phase shift. A phase shift means it is going to move to the right because this is positive, okay? And again, I know it's confusing, but it's x minus pi, pi over 2, but because pi over 2 is positive, then it moves to the right. So that means everywhere there's a critical point, it moves to the right pi over 2. So notice with a different color, I'm going to move this x-intercept here. I'm going to move this maximum point to the right pi over 2. I'm going to move this x-intercept to the right pi over 2. And uh, this minimum down here gets moved to the right pi over 2. This x-intercept gets moved pi over 2. And this label is 5 pi over 2. So the distance between all of those is, is pi over 2. Okay. So now that I've moved my critical points to the right pi over 2, I'm going to connect them. Oops. All connected. That's connected with that. And then this red one here, that's the graph of the sine of the quantity x minus pi over 2. That means that this graph has been phase shifted to the right pi over 2. And again, you can check it with your calculator if you want to. That's the end of this sample.